Hello, welcome to this DevTV presentation, Introduction to Civil 3D 2015 Programming. My name is Augusto Gonçalves and I'm a developer consultant at Autodesk Developer Network. So here's a quick slide pre uh, presenting myself. So I've been working with Autodesk since 2008 with several APIs, including AutoCAD and Civil 3D and uh, Revit. So let's get started with Civil 3D development. So here are the requirements. First, you need Microsoft Visual Studio to develop your application. You can use the free express version available for learning. You can see the link on the screen. Also, you need .NET programming skills. For this presentation, I'm going to use Visual Basic .NET, so you can use VB.NET as well. Of course, you need AutoCAD Civil 3D installed on your machine. Some background information. First, Civil 3D is based on plain AutoCAD. Also, about the API, the Civil 3D API uses .NET features and programming languages, so we can use VB.NET, but we can also use C Sharp. Civil 3D uses all AutoCAD APIs and we can use all those APIs inside Civil 3D development. So let's get started. First, we need to create a VB.NET project with Visual Studio. For Civil 3D 2015, we have to select .NET version 4.5. Then, we need to add reference to AutoCAD. Finally, add the Civil 3D references. Once we add the Civil 3D references, the application will be 32 or 64 bit specific. As you know, Civil 3D 2015 is 64 bit only, so there is no problem here. So, how does a plugin for AutoCAD Civil 3D work? First, we have to create our code inside .NET project. Then, we can add the references that we need compile this code in, into an assembly, which is a DLL, and then finally net load that inside Civil 3D. So how can we create our first, first command on Civil 3D with APIs? So we add the required namespaces, create a method, add the command method attribute, start typing our custom code. Finally we can compile that and net load on Civil 3D. Let's see that working with a hands-on demonstration. Let me switch to Visual Studio. I'm using the 2012 version. So let's go to File, New Project. Select Visual Basic, Windows and select Class Library. You can give any name you want. So let's say for instance we want uh, Civil 3D Dev TV. Avoid names with uh, special uh, characters and starting with numbers. So here we have our first code, which is a class one. I don't like this name, so let's rename that to commands and go to right click and go to properties and we can go to, uh, and check the .NET framework is 4.5. We can go to references and add the references that we need. So let's click on add and add the references we need. As I said, we need Civil 3D reference, but we also need AutoCAD reference. So let me let me go to browse and say C program files Auto, Autodesk AutoCAD. Civil 3D 2015 is installed inside our CAD folder, so you can see here the Civil 3D folder. So, but first let's let me select the AutoCAD references. So I have to select the references on this folder, but it's not easy to find what I need. So it's easier if I type uh, star m uh, gd dot dll and press enter, and the list will be smaller, and then I can sele select. AC Core, ACDB, and ACMGD and add them. 
we also need to add uh, CIV3D references. But first, we need to go to ACA folder and select AEC base MGD DLL and add it, add it as well. Finally, we can go to CIV3D folder and select AEC CDB MGD and add as well. So now I have five references. Let me click on OK and I can see the entire list in here. It's very important to change the copy local from true to false. So let me go to properties and say true to false. If you don't see this property palette in here, just go to view and select um, other windows and go to property. The position of this menu may change depending on your version, but uh, just search for pop properties. Okay, now I have the references. Let me go back to the application and compile and go to advanced compile options and uh, we can see all the options here but let me go to target CPU and say x64 this is required because if I build this application right now let me show you will show a message saying there is a there is a warning saying that this application is any CPU but the DLLs are 64-bit only so remember CV3D 2015 is 64-bit so I have to say uh, x64 and when I build everything is okay now I have to set up the, the uh, debug options so go to debug and say C program files autodesk autocad slash acad dot exe if I just leave like that uh, when I start debugging will debug autocad not cv3d so I have to add some command line arguments in here the easiest way to do it is go to the icon on CV3D, let's say this one, and go to Properties. And I can see all the, the parameters that are required. So let me copy the whole thing and paste in here. And I have all of this. Actually, I don't need this part. So I just need to say, OK, AutoCAD start as CV3D. Also, you start with the profile that is this one here and let me select the CV3D product. All set. Let's build and everything is working okay. So let's go back to our command. The first thing is to import the namespaces we need. In this case we need AutoCAD namespaces. Actually, we need three AutoCAD namespaces. This is the runtime, database, and editor. And we need some CV3D namespaces. That should do it for now. So let's go to our command. We can create, create a public shared uh, CMD command. Um, show quantity of corridors let me include a sub in here and we have a subroutine and to say to AutoCAD that this subroutine will be a command we add a command method saying the name we want show quantity of corridors and that's it. Now AutoCAD CV3D knows that this function is a command called show quantity of corridors. So let's start our command. First, let's get the editor. Dim ed as editor equals application. 
So we are just missing one reference. So let's import Autodesk application, AutoCAD application services, and let me include the Document Manager MDI editor. Now we can get the Civil 3D document, which is a Civil doc as Civil document equals Civil application dot active document. And now we can get the list of corridors with Civil doc corridors collection dot count the quantity of corridors as integer equals that one finally we can write on screen ed write message this document contains this amount of corridors very uh, very basic command that uses the uh, civil 3d document the uh, qu quantity of corridors and write that down for the user so let's build and see if everything works okay yes we have uh, succeeded here is the path of the DLL created. Let me copy this and start CV3D on debug mode. Now we have CV3D. And I can then type uh, net load and paste this URL and open as this DLL was just created on a, a random folder uh, CV3D is showing a security concern message just saying that it was not on a default location I can just load this for now and run my command show quantity of corridors and in this case is zero but if I open a drawing that has some joints let me get this one open and then I, when I run the same command again I will have the number one so that's it a uh, public sub shared a uh, comment method the namespace we need also on the properties make sure you add all the parameters required and the references are set to copy local false which is very important you can also find some additional information at our developer center which is located at autodesk.com slash develop civil we have a few blogs uh, one blog on AutoCAD is through the interface we also have the ADN dev blog for AutoCAD and the ADN dev blog for civil 3D which is ADN dev blog dot typepad.com slash infrastructure on this blog you will find a lot of information on the civil 3d you can just copy that and uh, use the code that is available on the blog that's it thanks for watching hope you have fun developing for civil 3d